good morning and what a glorious morning it is it's a brilliant spring day to be out welcome to the dan goes outdoors youtube channel if you haven't watched any of my videos before feel free to subscribe i try to put out a video every sunday morning so that's what you get in return and uh, yeah today i'm continuing with my spring carp grind uh, i've been lucky enough to get one already uh, so feel free to go back and watch that video it's a pretty <laughs> pretty cool fish but uh, yeah i'm out on just a day session today and it's going to get quite warm although it was like minus two when i set off and i'm in my overalls and still frost on the ground it's going to go up to like 17 degrees so i've decided to fish up this lake nearer some of the shallower water where the southerly wind's going to be blowing into uh, there's a couple of anglers already set up in what i think of a prime spot so i've come around to an area that fishes kind of to that area but just off it a little and i can always nick their swims when they go later on <laughs> but with this being a day session i've already got a few irons in the fire uh oh, para glider out already amazing i've already primed a margin spot and uh, put some mixes out as well so uh, yeah just really you've got to take advantage of everything on these short sessions and keep your fingers crossed right one rod out already let's get another one going So that's my two rods out uh, one off to the right there about 40 yards on a bit of a deeper silty area and this one here is at just over 60 yards out in the main bowl there on a nice firm area a little bit of weed uh, so we've both got pop-ups on just to combat that and um, yeah I've only put two rods out because I'm thinking I'm going to end up putting one down the edge or maybe even do a bit of floater fishing and since I've only got three rod license uh, I better not put a third rod out yet. Uh, it does annoy me but you have to pay for a license to do something that people have been doing since uh, so since since we could, since we could think about it. Uh, but anyway, such is the bureaucracy. <laughs> anyway, let's get off that political bandwagon. So what I'm going to do now is um, what I always do on day sessions, what you don't see, which is act like a cat on a tin roof and just keep pacing up and down the bank wondering if I've made the right decision and <laughs> where my next bite's going to come from. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the position I'm in, so just keep our fingers crossed, I think. It's just gone lunchtime, so it's about halfway through the day now and absolutely nothing has happened. Um, worryingly, not even a tench. So yeah, I'm a little bit skeptical about whether or not we'll catch anything today it's just so dead so still out there just nothing to get the fish moving on and although it's it's really sunny as you can tell by my outfit it's actually it's not massively warm i'd say it's only about 10 or 11 degrees something like that so yeah i'm really not sure what to do i think what i am going to do is i'm going to have a recast uh, there's a lot of stuff collected on my lines like I say, I haven't even had a tent, so I'm a little bit worried that my rigs aren't sat right. Um, I think I might put a margin rod out, although I've baited a couple of spots up that edge. I've not seen anything on them, but I kind of feel like my best chance is either going to be if fish get in the margin or if this weather changes. I'll just have to wait and see. So I'm all recast and back in the game now. Unfortunately, when well, when I wound in, I went for a walk up that side there and unfortunately there's absolutely no signs of a carp up that margin. There's a bay to my left that really looks nice and I got to have a really good look at it when I wound in. And um, yeah, I can see the whole lot and there's no fish there at all. I think there's some fish opposite me. Um, well, I know there are because there's about three anglers all gathered around that area, all fishing it and um, I think one of them must have maybe missed a fish or lost a fish or something because a big mirror just hurled itself out of the water like a tarpon or something, it's crazy. So yeah, I think maybe I just need to wait until the sun goes down perhaps, but I've not got that long. Don't like days like this. So I'm actually gonna call it a day there. Absolutely nothing has happened today, not a tench, not a 
sniff of anything so I don't feel it's like it's a kind of situation where more time will cure it. Luckily I can come back in a few days time so let's hope our luck changes then. Okay, good morning. It's um, three days later and I'm back down. And uh, yeah, swim selection was a bit difficult this morning. There's a few guys on and a lot of the real prime areas for today were taken. So what I've decided to do is come here and this is where that sort of spring preparation is paying off a bit because I fished this spot a couple of times in the early spring and I found some spots out there that I can just cast to now. And what I've done for now is I've put a couple of singles up near the island, uh, right up tight in a little cove and also in an area where I saw a guy catch a fish from last week and there's no shame in that. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm just gonna leave them as singles because I think the fish are there, then they're there anyway, they're not gonna need bait. So rather than disturb it with the spawn, I'll just leave it as it is. And now I'm gonna put a little bit of bait and the rod on a spot kind of halfway to the island and just maybe intercept some fish as they move through the channel. All right, let's get going with that. I've just seen a fish to my left as well. Get in. So it's midday and I was just worrying about whether not to move or whatever but carp have just shown right against the island really tight tight and I'm fishing already so I'm going to wind in reclip a bit tighter and hopefully get it back out there first time. So probably way too much casting later. I've got two rods up against that island. Um, not really worried about the casting because while I was casting, the fish was still showing. And I got some sort of funny take thing on the middle rod. It like went up a bit and then back down. So I don't know if that's a line bite or a fish dislodging the lead or whatever. But yeah, it's definitely something. And I'm pretty happy with this now. Unfortunately, the jet skiers have just turned up. So I don't know how long I can stay in this swim foot, but we'll see. At least we're on fish now. Well I've wound in and I'm just going to have a wander along the wind here, check a couple of corners, see if the fish are there. I don't mind going back to that spot and carrying on fishing but I've been at it for quite a while now. Nothing's happened apart from seeing those few fish by the island and having the jet skiers right next to me listening to them cackle on, <laughs> doing my head in. <laughs> We're not quite tearing it around as much, you know. We're not tearing it like a horse nick is but man, it doesn't have to do my head in. So I've made my decision and um, yeah, I'm going to follow the wind down that way. I haven't actually seen any fish, but it just feels better and at least I'll be away from the jet skiers, get a little bit of peace and quiet. I fished there a few weeks ago, caught four tench and uh, with that I know where the spots are out there so I can just wrap up, whip some rods out which are already set up so should be too much for hardship. Just got to get around there now. <laughs>
there we go that's uh, my three rods out two of them on the spots i was fishing here last week so if you watch that video you'll you'll know where they are and then my right hand rod just down in the corner there with just um half a dozen boilies chucked around it and yeah it looks really good around here and i was kind of expecting to come here and it'd be all incense wine and candles but it's it's not really it's a bit dead i dare say <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it'll do for the last sort of two, three hours of this session. Let's see. It's been done on that rod for the second time. So I think we'll have to have a new hook on there at least.
Well, I forgot to film myself winding in, <laughs> but as you can figure out, I'm on my way back now. Uh, yeah, two great tench. Um, I'm a little bit gutted that I had to move out of that first swim. I, I suppose I didn't have to, but I kind of felt obliged to when the uh, jet ski has turned up. It's the second time this year they've uh, spoiled an opportunity for me with fish crashing against the island. And by the time my rods were finally out there, they were in full swing. And yeah, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't sit there like that. And I, I just started to worry what would happen if I, I hooked a fish. And you know, then one of those guys comes cutting across. So yeah, I just decided to move. And at least when I moved, I caught those two tench. Great tench, biggest tench of the year so far. So really, really happy with that. But anyway, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Sorry if they're all getting a bit of the same with all these tench, but yeah. Hopefully one of these days there'll be some carp in there as well. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you're all well out there and I'll see you next time.